Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 434, which is a hard level. Now I've tried this six times without any boosters to no avail, so I'm going to bring my boosters in. Uh, when I played this through the first time, I always waited about six weeks without any avail to bring boosters in, and then I would kind of hit it real quickly on the first try with boosters. So don't be afraid to use your boosters, they're part of your the game. They're tools in your toolbox, and you're not cheating using them. So let's look at this board. We have 55 moves to obtain 105,000 points to get one star, and to clear out all of the jelly trapped under this thick frosting. And we also have to deal with the ticking time bombs here, and the fact that these areas are isolated. So a lot to accomplish, and hopefully the boosters will help us to take care of all that. Now whenever I see something like this, I automatically think color bomb. I'm going to be looking at that as an opportunity, looking to see if I can match up any of my 30s and get rid of them. Can't yet. So let's see what we can do over here to set up either an opportunity to use these together or to create another special we can use with that, or to set up another time bump. Oh, look at that. We just missed it. And I don't see an opportunity to change that. So let's just take what we've got and keep looking for these moves that might help us to create the setup we need. Now also while we're doing this we have to contend with the fact that there is a chocolate spawner here. So I want to take out as much of this frosting as possible while leaving this one intact so that I don't have to deal with the menace of the frosting quite so quickly. Looking around I see a potential opportunity to pair up these oranges See here I look for concentrations of color, and now I have to ask myself do I want to make a striped candy or a wrapped candy? I'm definitely going to make the striped candy here because I want to pair the striped candy with this, and I can do so unless things detonate wildly out of control by activating the striped candy which will take out the fish, but it will also leave me with this here. Alright, I have four orange down here, so this is really an awesome move for me to be able to make at this point in time. Took out all of those candies that had ticking time bombs on them and it's really taken out a lot of that jelly that's there too. Yes it uncovered the chocolate but now I have a lot more area in which to deal with that. So I'm not too worried. Let's, while we're taking out this frosting and keeping the menace under control, let's also look for opportunities to make some specials to attack the rest of this area. And since I only have jelly along these upper edges now, if I could even just situate a uh, wrapped candy here and let it explode, it would slide down and take these out. So my opportunities to control the jelly under here have grown considerably. I still have that one to deal with. And the chocolate is targeting it, but that's okay because I'm going to take it out right now. So now if the chocolate heads down there, it's okay. We already got that dealt with. Oh, see an opportunity to potentially make a color bomb. Now if you're really struggling, you can keep using boosters. You can come in and do a switch hand or a, um, a lolly hammer and set that up so you're more likely to get the results you wish. I'm going to lay off the rest of the boosters for now. Although if I get to the end, this is a hard level, if I get to the end and I say I can efficiently win the game by using a special or lose it by not, I'll, I'll take the opportunity. I'm going to allow this to grow one more to make a special. I think it's worth it. I'm still able to do this move, which I had hoped to do, so that's okay. Let's see... Keeping the chocolate at bay, not focusing on it, but I do have to get down here to clear out this jelly. Again, looking for these opportunities now. I can't move this over here or up here. I can't move this over here. 
I think it's time to take this out by activating this. And then it changes over here, and I was hoping that we might still be able to make something. And we may still. I know I'm spending a few, <laughs> few more seconds than normal on these opportunities, and that's because I want to play play this through one more time instead of 17 more times and get the results I desire. All right, now I've cleared out the jelly right at the spawner, which is important because I don't want the chocolate to just keep covering that over and over and me not having access to it. Now, you can certainly defeat this level without using boosters. It just takes more luck, and so you have to keep playing to get a lucky board because these levels, especially these hard levels, they're usually a combination of luck and skill. And we just increase our luck when we bring boosters in. But playing through the level repeatedly will also expose us to more lucky boards. All right, here, instead of making a wrapped candy, I'm going to make a striped candy because it's going to target exactly the area I need, and it'll be easier to detonate, I believe. Of course, that's irritating. <laughs> but what on this level isn't irritating, so... Make some more specials bust through there. So now we have one more jelly and we are able to take it out and I'll tell you why. When we bring in a color bomb, we get one color bomb at the beginning. When we bring in a um, wrapped and striped candy, we get one wrapped and one striped candy at the beginning. But when we bring in fish, it adds fish to the to the mix. And this fish is a result of the fact that I selected fish at the very beginning as one of my boosters. Now, I found that on hard levels, you don't get it in the mix nearly as often as you would on a regular level. So I'm glad that our fish came to save us. If you're still struggling with this after bringing in boosters and after activating the boosters that you have in game, like your lolly hammers, then put something in the comment section and I'll try to help you specifically with what your problem is. If you want to challenge me, to complete this level without boosters, I'm up for that challenge. You go ahead and put that in the comment section and I will meet your challenge, especially if you double dog dare me, I have to. And of course, if you want to see more videos, you can always subscribe. Thanks for watching.